Alapia, it's Ianipa Vasa, Alufa Decay, and I'm here to present this week's IFA scope. Our dear Aluo Fajuitan is dealing with some family time, and uh, we all want to send our prayers his way. Um, this week, I'm here to fill in and bring you the last IFA scope for the month of September in the year 2023. Uh, this has been divine with the oracle, and the Odu is Ogunda Ofun. It is the 213th Odu, and the Ire is Osai Rete, the Ibi is Ogunda Rete. So we're very close to being there, but we have a little work to do. The benefit Odu for the future is Osai Ogbe. I'm going to explain more about these elements in the, in the coming minutes here. The highest of all areas to deal with this week is family, and that Odu is Ogunda Meiji to work with. So we have some work to do. We have some really good things to create. Uh, with Ogun actually being our key Orisha to restore the balance as well. With the Odu of Ogbe Otora. So this Odu speaks about families maybe getting into some arguments this week around some material items. Maybe even some things that were associated with an inheritance. This is time for the children to understand about how to treat each other more equally. And I've been directed by the mothers to read to you some pataki that were associated with this Odu. Some really good stories this week. So I will begin with this one. Ogunda, give the article to the owner. And if you do not give the article to the owner, I will take it from you. I will use force and quarreling, although I do not enter your house with quarrel. This was divine for a traveler who would lodge in a greedy man's house. He was asked to make a sacrifice so that he may not lose his belongings to this greedy landlord. The landlord, the sacrifice was a hen and 12,000 cowries and ifa leaves, and they were pounded together and put into a black soap. And that's, this was put into the corner of the house, and then an offering of the hen was placed on that. And then this was used for bait. I'm not exactly uh, suggesting at all that you do this Ibo, but that's what's written in the Pataki from long ago. I do have a beautiful Ibo that's workable for today's time. The second Pataki that's written about this Odu I wanted to teach you uh, through the story is goes like this. Give it to me. I will not give it to you. We cannot fight over the beads all the way to Oyo and until we reach Olofi's house. If we've been fighting secretly, we ought to speak the truth on the day that uh, we reach the king. This was divine for the king to whom a bag of beads was brought for safekeeping and who later decided to poison the owner of the beads. So, that the, be the beads would be his. Okay? So the story of the matter is, at one time, there was a man with two sons. And the man died and left many things to the family and it is the custom of the land that the family members do not allow the sons of a dead father to have anything out of their father's property and for this reason the family of the dead father of the two sons took and divided all of the property now these two sons they were very upset and they stole the bag of beads and they kept it somewhere away from them so they couldn't see it and they began selling these valuable beads one by one and when that bag got a little bit light and it was about half gone the elder son he got greedy and he wanted to cheat his younger brother and he took the remaining beads to the king for safekeeping and he told his brother that the beads had been stolen and moreover the king too when he got the beads he was thinking of a way to kill that elder son so that he could keep the beads for himself but before he did so, he said that he wanted to test out his Babalao's ability. So he took the basin like calabash and he put the beads inside there and he covered it. Well, before he did that, he poured some poison that he had intended to kill the elder son with over the beads. And he covered the calabash well so the Babalao's couldn't see in what was in there. And he decided that if any of those Babalao's would know what's inside that calabash, calabash he wouldn't kill any of and any um, elder son. All right? So the king was surprised. The Babalaos, they did tell him what was inside there. 
And he made that sacrifice and he didn't kill the owner of the beast. So if you want to understand what the meaning is, listen inside yourself. See what messages come to you from that Pasuki. Here's another lesson that's about the Soju as well. A liar lies. His lies destroy him. The wicked person displays his wickedness, and his wickedness damages him. There is no peace for a liar, no security for the wicked. The treacherous person is doing untold harm to himself or herself. These were the declarations of Ifa to Arumila. And so when the liar and the wicked and the treacherous were to become his students, Ifa would purge them. They, he would purge their lack of character. So the Sogunda Meiji that we have that works with uh, Ogun this, this time is a time for us to remove the obstacles that are in, um, in our way for manifesting our prayers. Speak the truth. Do not fight secretly with anyone. You'll have a life of many, many blessings. And focus on resolving family disputes this week. Protect your life from those that you sense are thieves. When you sense there's a liar close by, do the work to, rem to remove them. Okay? Don't ignore it. With our enemies near, we can choose to bless them as well. Because they're strengthening us. They're redirecting us on our course. And more than anything, they're helping us become closer with our true destiny. So know that every person with good or bad character was strategically placed in, as our one of our teachers on our course of evolvement. We must situate ourselves this week with even brighter focus. Time to put those high beams on. Time to use Ogunda Meiji energy and go and take action. Doing what we know will bring the truth into reality. Get excited about what's possible this week, clearing and cleaning your energetic fields and create new movement forward with your family. This week, choose to do something that brings balance and inspire someone in your family to really become more just with you. Here's an Ibo for you to perform to clear your mind, to complete to clear the mind field of impacted energy that you're dealing with. You can begin by opening up on YouTube a vision quest by Lou O'Brien. Um, they're free to you. And the Ogun one is especially uh, spot on with some great ideas in there. I think it's about a 10 minute um, movement and you can drop into really feeling the energy of Ogun before you establish your Ibo. So if you have an altar set up for Ogun, go to it. Um, if you don't, you can go out to a railroad track maybe or some spot in nature that you feel resonates with Ogun's energy. Burn some sage around you and clear everything. Sprinkle some ice, ice cold water on the ground to kind of break and wake things up. Um, place some honey and coconut oil into the palms of your hands. Honey and coconut oil together. It's very soothing, a bit sticky but wonderful to uh, have in your hands. And then as you're rubbing it and making it warm, blow your name three times. Speak to Ogun. Speak to why you're coming. To get back on path with family matters, right? To, to know what to do, what actions to take. Um, and if you really uh, you know, want to go for it, get a Nariki to Ogun out. Get some prayers to Ogun out. And play some great songs to Ogun while you're doing this work. If you need some help getting in touch with any of these elements, let me know. So bring these your hands with these uh, rituals inside together over to your heart. It's about two finger widths over to the center. And that's your spiritual heart. Um, and become in a state of stillness for about four minutes. Feel your heartbeat. Listen to your breath and connect with yourself and place your attention on what your messages are. Pay attention because they're going to come through for you. All right, get ready to receive. So maybe a certain person is going to come to your line that you need to address. Listen 
and see with your inner vision what's possible to create with. Allow yourself to honor those messages and write them down right away so you don't forget. So know that it's time to create more balance, more equanimity, more harmony with your family. Know that Aisha Ogun is going to open up those paths and roads for your mystic vision to flow through this, especially this week, a little bit more. And that your array is going to be plentiful. Illuminate yourself this week and attract more of life's pleasure, more of life's treasure. And wear some white. Illuminate. Keep us come. Deepa has great authority. Enjoy your journey. Ache, Ache.